a lot of progress has been made. It is a safe place, a home for many in the North Texas LGBTQ community, including Terry Loftus. I'm feeling hopeful. Since the early 1970s, this intersection near Throckmorton and Cedar Springs has been considered the center of the LGBTQ community. It became not only a hub and a gathering place for us as a community, businesses that support our community, um, many of which are still out here, um, started to move in. And that is progress. At one point in time in Oakland's evolution, um, as, as the bars were concerned, minorities had to show more than one form of picture ID. There was a policy at one point to where women who wanted to enter some of the clubs had, couldn't wear open-toed shoes. Loftus has lived in Dallas most of his life, and he saw how the AIDS crisis devastated Oakland. It just went through the community, and you didn't know what it was, how to address it, what to take. Receiving medical care was near to impossible. Most people died very quickly, and it was a very scary time. And with that came a lot of discrimination. C.C. Cox is the executive director for the Resource Center which supports the LGBTQ community. I was certainly inspired and motivated by that movement and learned from the people in it. The AIDS crisis is a sad chapter in a story that's had better days, like pride parades and marriage equality. There's definitely a higher level of acceptance as the general society has come to know more LGBTQ people. What is available to us now was not something that I ever thought I would live to see. But soon more change is coming to Oakland as a new development will break ground on one side of the strip on Cedar Springs. Change is inevitable. There's no way to, to get around it. I still think this will maintain and always be our, our center for our community. Through the worst and best of times, Oakland has remained that inclusive place, a neighborhood that welcomes all people. And leaders in this community hope they have your support too. We do love hard. I mean, we have helped people survive and live through HIV. We have held people when they died. We know how to do this. My wish would be for our community, our society, our, our nation to stop making up differences between people. Um, they don't exist. We still have um, progress to make just like every community in the United States does. In Dallas, I'm Alex Rozier.